our opening contest for the 2018 Power Bone Trouble. He's going to win one match and then skip rolled for one fall. Introducing first, he is sent from the heavens to save High Impact Wrestling. Weighing in at 195 pounds, he is one half of the H.I.W. Canadian Tag Team Champion, God's Gift for Wrestling, Michael Richard Lay! So we're here with Michael Richard Blaze. God's Gift for Wrestling, Michael Richard Blaze, buddy. What's your name? Tom. Tom? Bob. Bob. Beautiful. When did you start training? I started training when I was 13 in 2003. What inspired you to become a wrestler? Um, the first memory I actually have in my life was watching wrestling when I was three years old and I saw Bret Hart and I've been obsessed with it since that day so I guess Bret Hart. Why are you God's gift to wrestling? I am God's gift to wrestling. I tell people not because I was born in God's gift to wrestling or anything. Like some people act like they were born with this great athleticism. But I was born with like a drive to be the best I can possibly be that I don't think a lot of people have. I actually started as a very overweight, very unathletic kid and I worked really hard to get to where I am now. So that's why I'm God's gift to wrestling. It's hard. What has your experience been like with WWE so far? Um, it's been amazing. It's a dream come true. I obviously want to be there full time, but for now, every opportunity I've gotten with them has been, like I just said, a dream come true, and it's amazing. Who trained you? I was trained by TJ Wilson, Tyson Kidd, who I think is actually one of the best wrestlers of all time. Yes. And it's fair he's to also say. like one of the best humans of all time has like literally made me everything I am as a wrestler and a dude. What would you have been be besides a wrestler? Uh, I honestly don't know, to be honest with you, because like I said, I've wanted to be a wrestler since I was three, so I've never really thought of anything else. Some other people like wrestlers that we've interviewed would say, if we ask them this question, like something involved with wrestling, like a rat or something. That's a good call. If that was the case, I'd say maybe a video producer for wrestling because I really actually like making videos. Who are the wrestlers you look up to? Um, the wrestlers I most look up to are probably TJ Wilson, AJ Styles, and Randy Orton. I think Randy Orton is actually like the man. He's like probably the best of all time. He's one of the best. I, and AJ Styles too. He's pretty good. Who's your dream opponent? Um, it's a weird one to say, but my dream opponent is TJ because it's the match I always wanted to have and I thought we'd get to have one day and it probably won't ever happen now and I just know it would be so amazing because just the stuff I did with him when I trained with him, it was like, it felt like I was wrestling myself in a lot of ways and I think it would just, it would have been amazing. Is wrestling the healthiest I've ever been? I'd say so. Like, WWE just got a, whatever it is, like something insane, like $1.4 billion TV deal for SmackDown, and Cody and the Bucks just sold out Chicago for All In, and ROH just sold out MSG. When's that ever happen? Wrestling's like, <sighs> wrestling's amazing. Yeah, even, even here, like, we sold out this building for HIW tonight with Mick Foley, like, there's 700 people here. That's pretty awesome. I heard you were recently on 205 Live with Akira Tozawa. How was that experience for you? It was actually Hideo Tommy, oh. and it was awesome. I didn't tell anybody there this, but I'll tell you guys this. When I was a little, like, 14, 15, 16 year old kid, just starting training in wrestling, Kento was actually one of my favorite wrestlers. So standing across the ring from Hideo, who was Kenta back then, if you didn't know, was, it was the cool, one of the coolest moments of my life. How did yeah. social media change wrestling? I think social media changed wrestling because now you have a reach to as many people as you can possibly get without having... Like to meet them in person. 
yeah, without having to meet them in person, without having to get yourself on TV or any of that sort of stuff, you can reach the entire world with just the click of a button. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Uh, I think probably the newest Avengers, to be honest, Infinity War. What is your guilty pleasure? Oh, my guilty pleasure is probably ice cream. I can't say no to it. It's like, it's, it's bad for the diet. It's the best. <laughs> What's your pet peeve? My pet peeve is probably people that are late, to be honest, especially if it throws off my time and I end up late because of it. It's very, like, I'm very regimented and very, like, yeah, lateness, probably. Now for some rapid fire. Oh, no. Coffee or any energy drinks? I can't choose. Energy drinks? Because there's so many different flavors. Yeah. Like Star Trek is Star Wars. Star Wars. Cat or dog? Dog. Fan fave, fan favorite or heel? Oh man, I'm actually gonna go fan favorite. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Halloween or Christmas? I'll go Christmas. Bullet Club or Shield? Oh! I, I say Bullet Club. Young Bucks, Cody. I feel bad not saying Bullet Club because I love Cody and I love the Bucks, but I think I'm going Shield. <gasps> yeah, I. I'm sorry, man. Seth and Roman right now are just so good. Yeah, I would probably go Shield too. If you would have said the Elite or Shield, then I might have gone the Elite. Because that's Cody and the Bucks. And, uh, what's his name? Omega. Yeah. Yeah. Can't forget Omega. Harry Potter, Lemony Snickets. Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Yep. Can we be Western Lions manager in Regina? You gotta ask the HIW Brass. I'm all for it. Will you help us win? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, helps. Cause it oh! backwards, it spells bucks. So. Not bad, not bad. Not bucks, so. Anything else? I think you guys had it pretty good. You guys had it covered. Thank you. Shop, show, and first move.